Hello, my name is Antoinette Jones with the TRIO Educational Opportunity Center. I'd like to bring you a brief presentation on how to set up a federal student aid ID, commonly referred to as FSA ID. During this presentation, would you please put all questions you may have in the chat box. Also, I'd invite you to visit the websites listed at the end of this presentation. Please contact the Educational Opportunity Centers for assistance with all your educational needs. Frequently asked questions about the Federal Student Aid ID or the FSA ID. What is a Federal Student Aid ID? A Federal Student Aid ID is a form of identification used by the federal government when one applies to receive federal student aid a change from the formerly used PIN numbers. It is used to sign into the free application for federal student aid, commonly known as the FAFSA. The FSA ID also can be created within the FAFSA application if not done so beforehand. It is used for student loan entrance and exit counseling and to enter the National Direct Student Loan Database. It is also used to retrieve IRS income tax information from the federal website, support your taxable income, your IRS tax information into the FAFSA and student loan application to help determine repayment options. Frequently asked questions about the FSA ID. Why is a federal student aid ID needed? How to go about setting up a federal student aid ID? When would my federal student aid ID be used or needed? What if I forget or forgot my federal student aid ID information? Can two people have the same federal student aid ID, family members or stranger? Will I have to give the school financial aid office my federal student aid ID information? How to go about establishing a federal student aid ID? First off, I would like to suggest that you get a pen and piece of paper to write down this important information and keep it in a safe place, as cell phones with this information stored in them can be broken, lost, or stolen. I like to suggest that you keep this with your important documents, such as tax returns, social security cards, or birth certificates, things that you would normally not want to leave out. Also, I like to suggest that you not use assign school email when you're setting this up or an email that you're sharing with a family member. You will need to create a username specific to you and something you will easily remember. You will also need to create a password specific to you. Please follow the instructions using the correct amount letters, amount of letters, numbers, special character. Again, this should be something you can easily remember. Also, please do not share your password with anyone, even your family members. During this process, you will have to choose and answer four challenge questions. These should be specific to you only. You must set up a personal identifier page, which includes your full name, date of birth, social security number, telephone number, current home address to include your city, state, and zip code. You should have a telephone number that can receive text and or emails, preferably a cell phone, as there will be a six digit code sent to your phone for verification of both your cell and email number, email. After completion of these few steps, your federal student aid ID will be established. Although there is a five to seven period for complete verification with the Social Security Administration. Now, if you should happen to forget your federal student aid ID and or username and password, there are a few steps you should take. You will need to click on the forgot username or forgot password options underneath the box where the information should be entered. You will need to choose how you would like to receive the six digit code that will be sent to your phone to get into your account or your email. 
A six-digit code, as I stated, will be sent either by email or text according to how you chose to receive it. Based upon the information entered when you originally set up your federal student aid ID. Once you receive the six-digit code, you will need to enter it into the designated area for which you requested it. You either said, I forgot my username or I forgot my password. Once you get that six-digit code, you will only have a few minutes to do so. Now, if you say you forgot your password, you will need to create a new password once you get your six-digit code. It will prompt you to do so. If it is for a forgotten username, it will reveal the username to you once you put your six-digit code in that you originally entered at setup. If you make too many wrong attempts, you will be locked out of your FSA ID account. You may contact Federal Student Aid or EOC and we can try and walk you through it as this is confidential information. Now, can two people or family members share or have the same federal FSA ID? As I stated before, the answer is no. No two people, including family members or a stranger, will have the exact same federal student aid ID or FSA ID information in the system. Now, a special note here, once a parent establishes his or her FSA ID, it can be used to sign their financial aid application for, the, for themselves as well as for multiple children. They will not be able to create another one. No one gets two. So everyone has only one FSA ID account. Now, although names may be the same or similar, generally the date of birth is different, except for multiple births, and of course, that would be twins, triplets and assigned uh, social security numbers will be different, even for multiple births. Also, there's a verification from the Social Security Administration, again, a final verification, and you will be alerted if there are issues with your FSA ID information. Family members should have their own separately established federal student aid ID accounts. Although the addresses can be the same and some of the challenge questions may be answered the same, but you will have different accounts. And with siblings going to school, you may have this, uh, of course, same mother's maiden name, as well as the same home address, that general information that you enter in there. Again, will I have to share my federal student aid ID information with my school, financial aid office, or anyone else whom I trust? The answer is no. Under no circumstances, Will you share your information with any, with any other person? This can lead to identity theft. A person can use your federal student aid ID to apply and receive federal student aid funds in your name by signing the application using your FSA ID information. And then example would be to take out student loans. Also, your school's financial aid office cannot have this information and is this as it is in violation of federal student aid rules and the privacy laws. And again, no one can get this information because it is set up to avoid identity theft with financial aid. No one can call on your behalf to your school's financial aid office and use your federal student aid ID to get or give any information or try to conduct any business on your behalf, not even your parents and those uh, that's in court, accordance with the HIPAA laws. No one should be able to contact federal student aid to request anything on your behalf using your federal student aid ID information. Please visit the website as I listed it here for more information. Also scan our QR code. If you have any questions or would like one-on-one -on -one assistance, from the Education Opportunity Centers, we'll be glad to do that. Our services are free. Thank you for your undivided attention.